All right, so we're recording again. And what we're gonna do is go over um, how to start building this out with Illustrator. And I'm gonna share my Illustrator screen now. Let me get that up. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on one second. Yeah, let me close that again. Let me get my Illustrator back open. Yep. Okay. All right. So I think we're into Illustrator now. You should be seeing it. Um, so what we have here is the um, file that I sent. Um, there's two versions. One's a little bit zoomed in. But if you start to lay this out with Illustrator, obviously size doesn't matter because it's um, it's independent because it's vectorized. We can make this thing as big or small as you want. But this is the layout based on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I already started. So I want to kind of go through and show you how to work this up. Um, so first, we're going to start to use the layers in here. So turn it out. So layer one, in this case, is the, the background, the elements, the, the page that I sent you. Um, and so I opened that up. And I locked it. So therefore, if I touch it, nothing's going to happen. Um, and basically, we're building this up as a, a background. And um, then I'm going to build a new layer. So to go to a new layer, let me get this follow up so I can see it here. Um, just get plus, and you see it makes a new layer. So I'm going to be working on layer two. Let me just delete the three one. Um, so layer three is where I've, layer two is where I started already. <clears throat> and as you can see here, um, I started tracing over the existing um, file. And what I'm doing is I'm starting with just rectangles and I'm doing all these in and I'm just giving them a white fill just for now. Um, we'll draw back in these tabs later. Um, or you can leave the tabs here so when you print this out, you don't even have, you can just cut along with this. So you could print this as, as you see it right now, once you fill it in with art, and then go back through and cut this out. Um, so you can print with the background on, and in fact, if you want the background to um, print a little lighter when you're working, just go here and play with the opacity of that. And we can, opacity up top here, and we can drop that down, as you can see. So it's gonna print, but it's gonna be bar barely noticeable. And that'll give you these lines to um, cut from. Okay, so when you put your uh, arcade machine together, um, you'll have those tabs that you'll need to work from. So I'm going to pull that back up just for so you can see it. Um, so here we are, and we're starting to fill these in. Um, I started over here with some, um, and I'm going to show you how to do those with the um, direct select tool and the, the pen tool. And I dropped the opacity down so you can kind of see what's behind it because I think it's going to be important as you start to work. So, um, but all of these are at 100% opacity and you can see you can just drop those down and you can start to see here is the front of the machine, the, the title. So this is where you put the, the logo, the name of your, your game, et cetera, in here. Um, over here, again, these are just background elements. This is going to be the top of the machines. Um, and again, the opacity is down. So I can just put that back up to 100. So as I'm drawing them in, I'm drawing them at 100, and I can come back through and um, drop the opacity to figure out what's underneath, so then I can put in my artwork. Okay, so this is the main screen. Okay, so here is the, the box, but we have another screen within there. So again, you'll draw that in, and we'll do that in just a second here. So um, let's do the back, there's the warning page. Just clicking my rectangle tool, and I'm just gonna trace it. On top, oops, cancel that because I'm on the wrong layer. I'm going to lock my layer here. Go back to layer two, so I get my red lines. That signifies that I am on the um, second layer. And there we have that. Okay, um, and again, as we can working, we can start to drop those down. Um, the opacity down so we can see what we want to put in there artwork wise. Okay, so in this case, there's a warning. This is the back of the machine. Here's the fan. 
Um, and if you want to use an element like the fan again, you can copy that over. So let's do a complicated part here, um, which is the side of the machine. So let me show you this. We're going to take the pen tool, and I'm just going to start with a point. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just gonna, every corner I'm just going to click. Coming back along. And you can see it's filling in with the white as we go. And then I know there's a corner here somewhere and I can adjust that. Oh, I'm off a little bit, but that's okay. So you can see we're off. I'm gonna come back here with my direct select tool and then move that point into position. And again, all of these points are adjustable. So if I'm off a little bit and again, I can zoom in. You can see I'm off there a little bit. Click that point and drag it into position. Okay, <clears throat> so this would be the way that you want to do this as you're starting to work. Zoom in, get your things in position. That's off. Put that back in and drop it. Okay. Um, so you're going to want to take the time to kind of go through and position your points accurately. And likewise, you can go back to this one. This is another shape. That point was off. I want to pull that back in here. This is there. So now we, these are shapes. And again, right now they're just white. Um, but of course, you can pick colors. You can insert your artwork into those. Um, and you open up a, a palette. Um, swatch library. And we're going to do, um, do kid stuff. It's kids. All right. Yeah, let me see. Is that palette? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so there's a green side. So <clears throat> you can put in whatever color you choose on those. Um, and then we can put our artwork on top of this and we can draw. And again, if you need to, and you probably will want to, is do a, a third layer, uh, which will let you um, do artwork on top. Okay, so right now we're here on this layer. I can drop that in down or that opacity down. So here I'm at 50%. Now I'm going to say, okay, I want to put stuff on top, but I want to have a solid color background. So I'm going to build just a third layer on top. And now I can just put artwork within this. All right. So um, let me see if I can find a quick piece of uh, artwork to open on my desktop here. We're in the arcade game. Um, one second, just kind of find a file that kind of will work here. Um, I'm looking for something that's going to be a illustrator based file that will drop in without any problems. There we go. So I'm going to just hear some flowers and patterns. Um, just going to open that up. And let's say I want this whole set of patterns here. I'm just going to copy that. And again, you can create these elsewhere or, or dig those up. And then we're back here. I'm on my going to go to layer three. I'm going to paste those in. As you can see, it's quite large to start with. I'm going to scale that down. Zoom back in. And now what we're doing is we're putting this flower pattern on top of the other one. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to give it a duplicate. I'm going to kind of flip flop it. So we kind of get a pattern shape going. And again, this is going off, but you don't have to sweat that because when you cut this out, that will be cut off. Okay, so we don't have to individually get in here and take this piece apart. Um, if you don't want to, but let me show you how you would if you do decide to do that. Um, again, I can get in here with that and you can see there are all these points and then I can start with my direct select tool and just start to pull those back. So if I wanted to make it match, Select the point, just drag it over, 
and likewise I can start to select these or I can start to delete some of these points. I have points out here I don't really need. Um, so I'm just gonna start taking some of those off. But like I said, you, you really don't have to do all of this work. Um, I wanna show you how to do it if you had to in, in a particular case, but in this particular case, I don't need to because it's gonna be cut. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off and take that off. And now we are back to going along that cut line. But as you could see, because we were cutting this out physically, I really didn't have to do that. But if you need to make something match, you can do that. Okay. Um, come back to my layer three, layer two rather. And here's that background. I'm going to drop the opacity back up. So you can start to see how that pattern would look on that side of the machine. Okay. So this is where your artwork goes. Your artwork will go on each one of these panels. Here's the screen panel. Um, Likewise, layer three, I'm going to go here and I want to draw in the actual panel for the TV. And I'm going to go here, I'm going to go my rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to kind of lay it in here and drop. And again, I can adjust this by grabbing the corner and pulling that back out. And because all of my angles are here, we can just pull that out to get that into position. So now we have our video screen um, that we could use. Okay, so uh, give that a different color just for now. All right, so, and again, you can position using your arrow keys. You can get it just right in place. Um, I think it'll go fairly quick for you guys. Um, but again, this is where your little creativity comes into play. Um, again, subject matter can be totally yours. Um, pick something you, you enjoy um, and then you're going to fill this in and ultimately you're going to save this as a file and then you're going to and at, when you're done save it as a pdf for me but as you're working save it as an illustrator file so you can um, work on it and still have all your layers active and then print it out and you will cut this and just you can just put print on regular paper it's fine um, if you have a cardboard stock, that would be better. Um, so a little bit thicker paper will obviously make it go to better, go together a little easier. And you can tape and glue this together. Um, scotch tape and such on the inside. And at the very end, you can use a little bit of dab of glue here on this back panel that will close it all up for you. Okay. Um, and in the end, you're going to have a little video arcade machine in there and make it look good on your desk and such. Um, so that's where we're going with this. Again, this will be due in uh, two weeks. Uh, um, so work on these, send me files as you're getting them. If you have questions about that, um, so let me go back to my Zoom screen. Um, so here we go, we're back to Zoom, I think we're okay. Um, so yes, you can, work on these you can make these as artistic as you want um, use your illustrator skill if you want to add a photo you can obviously drop a photo into this um, file place and you can put photos in if you know the sizing um, the thing might be to take the panel yes uh, i have a quick question how yes. do you get a flip grid okay I'll, I'll help you in just a few minutes okay um, you can take this panel and you can look at the properties of it. And see the sizing. In this case, these are in points. Um, so 127 by uh, 280 points. You can build that up in, in Photoshop and you can put a photo in there. Um, you can also import the photo. It, it might be a little bit easier if it's sized prior. Otherwise, it's going to be really big. But you can bring it in. So let me just show you an example of bringing in a photo, I'm gonna just file place, desktop, um, I'll pick a vertical photo in the thing, I don't think that worked in there. Okay, I'm going to pull that in place. You see it's loaded here on my screen, boom, it's pretty big. 
um, but I can scale that down. I can preend in here, and I'm going to just stretch it, even though I don't recommend stretching artwork. I'm going to do it for the sake of the demo. Um, it's a tree, so it's not as terrible. Remember, you don't want to stretch things like faces and shapes that we um, know the proportions of. And then we have the back panel. Now, we didn't do all the way down to the screen, but we can do a separate thing. So here is a photo that's been dropped into our um, video. Okay, And here, for example, I put it on layer two, but maybe I want to put it on three. I can now take that layer, that link, and just I'm going to drag it up and put it on the three. Oh, I got to unlock three first. Then come on, go up. There we go. So now it's on layer three. So all my artwork um, will be on, in this case, I'm doing artwork on three. I'm doing my shapes um, of the video machine on two. And on layer one, I have the original artwork. Okay, and you can lock and unlock as you go. Um, and you can even lock particular layers. So if I want this layer not to move for whatever example, and I don't want to lock, I'll lock all of them, I could just lock an individual layer or sub layer, I like to call it. <clears throat> so this is layer two, and it's this particular path, which is this orange. Okay, that's that part there. Okay, so we have complete control when we start to build in layers and we start to be able to lock items. All right. Um, questions about this, guys? Questions about this project? Anything? Anybody want to? If you have a question, give me a chat or chime in, unmute yourself, and we can go. You guys, feeling okay with this project? Thumbs up. Yes. Mm. All right. I see a thumbs up coming in. Okay. Um, questions at all? So um, I think I've gotten most of your logo business cards assignments. If I haven't, please get that to me. Um, Tuesday, the plan now will be to go through those and give you a little bit of a critique on those. Um, but between now and then, start your video machine. Um, and again, the goal is to get this done for um, two weeks from today, uh, which is, let me see here, so here's our sheet back here, um, 21st. So I need it by noon, because what we're gonna do it on the 21st, our last class, we'll go through and look at these. Um, so you're gonna be turning in your finished sheet here as a PDF, and then just send me also a photograph of your video machine put together, a photograph or two, that'd be awesome. Um, so we can see that, and um, that'll be it for the semester. So, um, and if you have questions about um, Illustrator, Photoshop in general, let me know, shoot me an email. Uh, let me know next chat. We've got a couple chats where we have some time to go through some additional items. So if there's some things that have come up that you wanna know, um, just let me know and we will take it from there. All right, um, other questions for today? All right, um, have a good weekend, guys. Um, we're almost done the semester. Uh, everybody's doing fine grade-wise. I'll try to get that caught up by Tuesday, and we'll get that out to everybody. Um, all right, anything else before we are good for today? All right, um, well, thank you all. You guys have a great weekend and um, work on your video machines. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Um, should be kind of exciting. All right, um, take care, have a good weekend, and we'll see you all on Tuesday. Thank you much.